Aaron Arena in Clarksville, Tennessee. Moorhead State wins over Austin Peay tonight. Third straight win for the Eagles. They knock off the Governors 82-69. I'm Chuck Morales joined by MSU basketball coach Sean Woods. And Sean and I used the word escape with the win tonight, even though it was 13 points. But with all the fouls, it felt like an escape. Oh, wow, I mean, I don't even like I mean, I've, I've, got, I've grown callous to, to, to the foul and the referee. But our guys, you know, found a way to win uh, on the road, uh, getting 30. 30 fouls called on them, and the other team shoots 44 free throws, and we only shoot 19. And for us to win by 13 points, that's pretty good. This is just a surprising night all the way around. And uh, we look at some of the numbers on the sheet, and I'll tell you what, uh, I thought Kareem's story was very good tonight. He had his first career double-double with 13 points and 12 assists, and Karam Shore just Really, inside was a warrior with those 24 points. Well, Karam was sure when he's at the five, he just posed a, a, a matchup problem for their big. And this small lineup, as you see, I'm still going with it. You know, I mean, I'm only getting, and I got, what, uh, 11 minutes out of Anthony Leach. I started him tonight. And I got five minutes out of Marcus Fuggins tonight. Fudgins tonight. So you're going to see this. Now we get Billy Reader back a little bit. So now, you know, we, we'll have some stability inside. But... This has been working for us, you know, and, and it's hard to guard us one through five, and we're driving them, and, and our guys are making the right play. You know, but that's because, like I said before, we've been practicing. Our offensive efficiency has been very, very good. Our passing's good. Our interior passing is very, very good. So, you know, we're becoming a good offensive team again. A couple of stats that stand out to me, too, as well. You out-rebound Austin P, even though you have a smaller lineup, 36 to 30, and just 11 turnovers for your group this evening. I mean, look at Brent Arrington, 16 points, 10 rebounds. Karan Mashore, 24.7 rebounds. Corbin Collins, 6 rebounds. You know, Angelo Warner, 4 rebounds. So those guys are getting it for us. They're, they're getting it done. As long as we can rebound, get those those guys to rebound, I'm going to stick with this lineup because it's, it's, it's a hard lineup to guard, especially for 40 minutes. Got off to a very good start tonight, led by 9 off the beat got back in the game and it looked like it was almost too easy at times Did you guys maybe take their foot off the accelerator a bit and that's what i got to get all my guys about we got to continue to get better at that put the team knowing how to put teams away when you got them down you know we take bad shot here bad shot there miss a free throw here miss a free throw there i turn over at key times here we just got when we're winning and we go up eight or nine in the first half of them that's when you just settle down and bring your stuff in and now the defense becomes desperate here, so then you make them pay for it. Uh, you, you mentioned this, you got a lot of contributions from a lot of people, and uh, when we look at uh, some of the other numbers that uh, I mean, even really stand out. I mean, yeah, he had two, two big, big threes, threes, yeah. You know, which was, which was crucial tonight. I mean, that last three was big. That was the backbreaker. You know, if the kid plays with so much poise, I just got to get him to stop fouling. He wants to be so aggressive. He's so little from his stature, but he, that's his way of opposing his will on you by using his quickness and moving his feet, and he's getting penalized for it. But the kid, I, I, I love his, his tenacity, I, I love his, his confidence, and he's helped us. He helped us tonight and came in and when Corbin got in foul trouble and Angelo got in foul trouble and was solid and hit two big shots. Well, he's not going to intimidate anybody with that 112 pounds that he's no, packing. Not, by the name, by the <laughs> well, here's a stat that really stands out. Points in the paint. Moorhead State 56, Austin P 14. How about that? The reason why we got points in the paint because we got drives. So they count those drives as points in the paint. So we're just spreading people out. You can't stay in front of us, and we're getting layups. I usually ask you every now and then for a State of the Union address about your team from time to time in these post-game shows. I think it's time for another. Where do you think this ball club is? Well, you can see we're getting better. We've won three real tough road games without some guys. Uh, that shows you that our guys are coming. But the main guys are playing, which is Corbin Collins, Brent Arrington, Kareem Stork and Angelo Warner. As long as those guys bring it every single night, everything else is a, just just do what you do. Now you got to you, you got to key on you know Karam Ashore because he's a mismatch problem. So now he's getting 24 points. He's doing pretty good from a scoring type situation. We just need Billy back, which we'll have him back. Now we can throw the ball in the post and get something when we just want to settle down and and, and play tradition, traditional basketball. 